Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Kanya Art and Craft. This is Devu Priya. Today I'm so excited to share something truly beautiful and unique with you all. We will be exploring the art of lip and calm or mud mirror work together. I will be taking you through each and every detailing of this art form along with some very important tips and tricks. So without further ado, let's get started. Here I'm using a 12 inch 8 mm MDF port. I have fixed one hook on the back side of the boat. I have taken help from a carpenter to fix that. You can also use a industrial glue to fix the hook on the back side of the boat. Using a ruler to mark the center point, now I am drawing perpendicular lines crossing each other. Marking a point on 2.5 inch using a compass to draw a circle maintaining the center point. Now I am placing the protector maintaining the perpendicular line, dividing the arc in equal parts like this, doing the same with this arc also, dividing this arc into two parts like this and following the same process we will divide all the arcs into two parts. Placing the compass on one point and then draw a half circle or you can also join the lines manually like this. You just need to mark the points and then join the points using a curvy line. We need to follow this process for both the sides to create a design like this. Drawing a swastik symbol in the center. For this lip and art project, I am using molded which is a air dry clay. I am applying some talcum powder on my palm so that the clay doesn't stick to the hand while mixing. Mix it properly till you get a complete white soft dough out of it. Take some portion and roll it to give it a cylindrical shape. Use this part of your palm while rolling. This will help you to create a uniform thin strip out of the clay. Here I am using Fabicol. You can use any white glue to stick the clay strip. Using a paper cutter to trim the extra part. One very important tip here. Uh, whenever you are making clay strip, once you are done with the mixing of raisin base and hardener together, allow it to rest for at least 3 to 4 minutes. Then start rolling to form clay strip. This will help you to prevent breakages and cracks in the clay strip. Try this tip and let me know if it works. For the circle part, I am sticking a thick clay strip to make it look prominent. Now we will stick the clay strip following this design. The thickness of the clay strip has to be around 6mm to 8mm. Following the same process we will apply glue on the lines and then we will stick the clay strip according to the design. You can use a tool like this or a knife to reshape the clay strip. This is how it looks after finishing the clay part. Now I am applying white gesso. Uh, if you don't have gesso available then you can use white acrylic paint instead of gesso or primer. We need to prime the whole board with the primer except the clay part. When we are done with the primer, we must allow it to dry for half an hour to one hour. For this painting, I have decided to go with cool tone. Here as you can see, I have taken some different shades of blue from different brand. There could be a slight variation in the shade but that will not impact with the final look of the painting. You can use this three shade Prussian blue, cerulean blue and tail blue from any brand. And we will also use white and black to darken the shade in certain areas and lighten up the shade in some other areas. As you can see I am mixing teal blue color with white color to make a very light shade of blue and applying this uh, light uh, blue shade on the inner part of the circular pattern. Now for the second layer I am mixing teal blue with cerulean blue. 
mixing ratio is 2 is to 1, 2 portion of teal blue and 1 portion of cerulean blue. I am going to apply the darker hues gradually after each layer. For the third layer, I am adding 1 portion of teal blue and 2 portion of cerulean blue to darken up the shade. For the fourth layer, I am applying cerulean blue directly. I am not adding any other shade with cerulean blue. I am just applying this color directly. Now we will mix Prussian blue with cerulean blue. So the ratio would be 1 portion of Prussian blue and 2 portion of cerulean blue. Now for the last and sixth layer, I am going to apply Prussian blue color directly. To avoid patches, we need to reapply the same shade on the particular area wherever we have applied whichever shade we need to repeat that. You can repeat this process once or twice. Here I'm taking golden yellow or you can also take cadmium yellow using flat brush number 4 to apply this color on the center part. Applying neon pink color on the swastik design. Applying same cadmium yellow or golden yellow on the outer part of the design. I hope you have noticed the changes on the blue part where we have applied multiple layers to reduce the patchy effect and to give the painting a uniform look. Applying white color on the clay part using brush number 1. Following the same process, we need to cover the all clay part using white color. For the clay part also, we need to apply two layers of white color. After each application, allow some time for it to dry before applying the next layer. Once the coloring part is done, we need to give the painting some time for drying. And since we have applied multiple layers on this painting, so it will take some more time for drying. So I'll just let it rest for 24 hours and then I'll show you what needs to be done next. Ta-da! It's varnishing time. I have received a lot of queries regarding when to apply varnish on lip banat. So let me just tell you this is the right time to apply varnish on the painting when you're done with the clay and coloring part and just left with placing the mirrors. As you can see, I'm using a spray varnish here, gloss medium. Before application, we need to clean the surface. You can use a brush or a cotton cloth to clean the surface and then you can start applying the varnish using spray nozzle. Cover the whole board with a layer of varnish, then let it dry for some time. Can you see the glossy finish on the board? You can get this glossy finish only if you use the gloss varnish. Now it's time to add some different shapes of mirrors to enhance the final look of the painting. Applying glue and then I'll stick some round shape mirror on the first layer of this pattern. For the second layer, I'm going to stick three small size teardrop shape mirror like this. Repeating the same design for third layer. I'm going to use three same size teardrop shape mirror here. For the fourth layer, I am using bigger size teardrop shape mirror like this. Now for the fifth layer, I will repeat the same, I will stick the same size mirror in the same manner. I am using a pointed tweezer here to place the mirror. You can also use your fingers to place them. Now for the last layer, I am going to stick the bigger size teardrop shape mirror that I have like this. For the outer part also, I am using the same size teardrop shape mirror. Applying glue on the swastik part and then I am going to place this small size round shape mirror on the center part following the line. Placing round shape mirror to complete the swastik design like this. 
and then we will frame this mirror using clay strip. After that we just need to apply white color on the clay strip. And we are done with our exquisite piece of mud mirror work. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found the tips and tricks helpful. If you try this technique, be sure to share your creation with me. Thanks for watching. Until next time, stay creative and happy crafting.